it loves it's coach Shani. welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to achieve a no crunch wash and go so here are my results all right so starting out to prep my hair i just have it in three huge sections Right here, all I have in my hair is just water, no products. Okay, so here are the products I'm going to be using. First, I'm going to apply more water, then my coconut oil, then the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture, and the Eco Styler Gel. So I have it numbered in the order that I'm going to be using the products. Alright, so here I'm applying my water first, and here's my coconut oil. I just have it in an applicator bottle for convenience. And I am very heavy handed with my products, and that helps with eliminating the crunch. So now I'm using the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. And do a huge bantu knot. Alright, so I start from the back and work my way forward. So the other sections I've already done, I've applied the water, the coconut oil, and the shake, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I'm just gonna put that section in half and do smaller sections so I usually do that in like in that section I'll do three medium sized sections but if you have um, hair that's not as thick as mine you can you you can do bigger sections all right so here I'm gonna show you exactly how I do each section So all I'm using is my water and the Eco Styler Gel. And here are the tools I'm going to be using. It's just some hair clips, my Tangle Teaser, and my Denman brush. In that order. Alright, so I've already applied the water and now I'm using my Tangle Teaser. And you want to make sure that when you're when you're doing this your hair is completely smooth so you want to keep using the tangle teaser until the hair is completely smooth before you apply the gel so I start from my roots making sure I get all the strands and I work my way down a lot of products and finally I use my Denman brush and you want to do the same thing just detangle until the hair is completely smooth and then you simply shingle as large sections or as the small sections it depends on what look you're going for for this style I did bigger sections than I usually do but it's completely up to you and there you have it so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that one more time on this medium section so I spray the water and then I'm gonna smooth out my hair with my tangle teaser. You wanna keep going over the hair until it's completely detangled from the roots to the tips. And then I apply the Eco Solid Gel starting from the roots and I work my way down. And 
then I shingle. And another thing, make sure you actually smooth the strands from roots to tips when you're doing the shingle, especially the ends. And now I am all done. it guys i hope this video has been extremely helpful to you for those who have been asking on my other video how to avoid the crunch when you're trying to do a wash and go so if this has been helpful please share and give this a thumbs up and i also want to share before i leave this is how i did my hair the night before and this is the following day I simply put my hair in a ponytail, but you can pineapple if you choose. So please comment below what you use to avoid the crunch with your wash and go. We would love to hear. So please connect with me and I will see you guys on the next video next Monday. Bye.